So, uh, you guys remember Shovel Knight, the game? The what night? Shovel, Shovel Knight. Knight? Shovel mm-hmm. Knight? Wait, yeah, yeah, this sounds familiar. So, Shovel Knight is a like a 2D scroller video game, right? Uh, by the guy, by people from uh, Yacht Games, okay. Yacht, Yacht Games, uh, Yacht Club Games, I believe it's called. Um, and it grew from a Kickstarter. And it grew and grew and grew, even so, even so much so that it was, I think, at top ten of the characters that people wanted to see in Super Smash Brothers huh. at one point. Nice. Um, it's a really good retro two D scroller game. So yeah, those guys have a lot of money and a lot of fun things to do. So they made you know these other games of like. Uh, the, the spinoffs of these, the, the 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 different characters, different aspects of it, and now they come back with a whole new IP uh, called Mina the Hollower, mm. and they're going back to a Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. They're going back to a retro style game, and it's more of a top down. Uh, I believe they, they were they were linking it linking it uh, to a uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening mm-hmm. type video game where it's just top down and some side scrollers as well. They compared it to Link, Link's Awakening, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Castlevania, something that like I <laughs> don't think mix well. But you look at these at these graphics right now, they mm-hmm. are one of like I'm it started today. This, this this started today, and I backed it at like eighty thousand. Yeah, I, and that was it's, that it's, was at the beginning of this show. It's at one twenty seven, and I, I've been watching this thing go. It actually went down. I've never seen it go down before. <laughs> I don't think I, just, I don't know why it went down, but <laughs> but it's going. It's, it's yeah. going. It's going. But like they announced this on uh, on G 4s X Play. Okay, they did a whole special about it and everything. But if you look at this game, it looks nice mm-hmm. like i i'm i'm excited about this and and yacht games know knows what they're doing mm-hmm. like they know people are going to buy this game they know they know they definitely know they're going to reach the three hundred thousand thousand dollar threshold that they have they know people are going to support it at twenty dollars per game like seriously it's twenty dollars per game for a digital download of this game mm-hmm. and it looks like it should be 60 should be more so i'm in I, i'm 100 percent behind this game like just by the looks of it also you play as a little mouse but that's that's beyond the point but all, all in all i kind of want to play it i really want to play this i want to stream it i want to do I, I i want to make sure this i want i want to play this game because it, it's it looks like it's a fun side scrolly top-down adventure that i cannot wait to play awesome i'm not even sure when it's going to come out that's awesome they tell you what what's because i didn't realize you can pick up shovel knight for the even the switch Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. you can you can pick it up anywhere i I think it's on even like ios devices maybe yeah there was i saw pocket i saw pocket edition i didn't look at what yeah i'm guessing that's but yeah if, if you haven't played shovel knight it is really good. Like well, I like it because it looks like it's multi multiplayer too. So it that, is. that to me makes it more fun. It, it it's amazing. Even the multiplayer is pretty good, awesome too. Like I I've seen it. I've seen people stream it with other people. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, like I'm I'm sold on Yacht Club Gaming. Period. So I definitely wanted to back this game, and I know they probably could make this on their own. But again, they're making their, they know what they're doing. They have that backing of, uh, what is it? Almost, right now it's 1,700, almost 1,800 people, mm. backers mm. right now. And they know it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow in one month, obviously. So that, that, I, uh, that, yeah, that G4 uh, shout out definitely didn't hurt them, did it? <laughs> no, no, but they didn't, they could have just released this game, like they just could have released True. this Kickstarter True. and they would have had at least this much. 
But man, how much not nicer just knowing things will be, you know, that you have those first batch of sales instead of releasing and hoping, right? Yeah. So 100%. I mean, that's, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. And they I mean, know what they're doing. I mean, they just didn't get like straight publisher support. So they, they needed to kind of wrap it up or they just wanted to do it a different way and see if they could. So I'm surprised more indie games, like indie game developers don't do this. Mm-hmm. Like they should, they should. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, if you have that strong of a backing, if you have that strong of support, they like people like people will buy this game, buy your game. Mm-hmm. It could look like garbage, but people will still buy your game if they know your if they, if they see you back if they see you like if they see your company if they see your your developing this game they're still going to try it they're still going to want this play this game and that's what yacht that's what they're doing that's what yacht club's doing and it's working to perfection. <laughs> 